Hello and welcome to my video. I will teach you how you can make your transition from the end of the campaign into maps much more enjoyable and smoother. After killing Kitava in Act 10, your resistances took a major hit and are probably not capped anymore and look similar to mine. The big problem that we have now, we already crafted resistances on our gear already, so there are no open suffixes for us to use. This means that there is no immediate fix for our problem and you are probably going to suffer in early maps, unless of course you are in a trade league and can just buy the items you need. But these items cost currency too, so here is an easy way to earn some currency early on and or how to find items that you might use. The easiest thing to remember is that your resistances should be over capped by 30% before you kill Gitarra in Act 10. Now this is easier said than done. You could either repeatedly farm a zone until you identified an item that has the appropriate stats, or you could do what I prefer to do in the League Star scenario, to do heists. Now I know, already that some of you are going to stop watching at this point because a lot of you guys really dislike heist, although it can be very profitable, even early on, and can help you quite a lot when it comes to progressing further in maps. But how you may ask? Well, first of all, it is important that you do all of these things before killing Kitava. Yes, I know, you will miss out on two passive points, but don't worry, they're not that important at this point and it is much more important to make sure that you are resistance capped, especially if you play hardcore. Starting with Act 6, you will find rogue markers while progressing the campaign. If you use one in your hideout or in a town, you will get access to the Rogue Harbor where you can buy contracts from Wakano the Barber. Even though you will probably find the first set of coins even before hitting level 50, you only want to buy contracts once you reach level 59. Now, the reason for that is that the contracts will always be one level above your character level, and starting from level 60 onwards, you can use items that you collect and that you do not identify to do the Chaos Recipe. This will help you immensely when it comes to buying better gear in a trade league or for various other reasons if you play solo self found. Depending on how much heist you want to do, for example if you really want to play a certain build that you cannot league start with and so you just want to farm currency to be able to afford the necessary items once they show up in trade, you might want to level a specific character whose only purpose is to efficiently farm contracts by using the endless heist strategy. Now I have such a character leveled up and just as a test to myself to see whether or not I would use this strategy in a league start scenario and I can tell you from my experience so far, I definitely will in the future. As you can see my character is a raider that uses the explosive arrow ability but instead of the very popular elementalist or champion explosive arrow version we are not scaling the ignite effect but instead we are playing a hit version. I want to clarify that this is not my build, but if you want I can make a video about it with leveling details, skills that you use and how to spend your passive points. This character is very far from optimized. As you can see I haven't even done my third lap yet and as a consequence I do not have the perma phasing that the node quartz infusion would give me. When it comes to gear I simply used an orb of alchemy on an item and if possible crafted some resistance on it. My boots only give me 20% movement speed instead of the possible 30%. A lot of room for improvements as you can see. I will now show you what a typical contract run looks like and what you can expect in terms of reward. Generally you only want to run rock picking or demolition contracts as these offer the best rewards in form of raw currency early on. Here I am running a demolition contract that is level 2 and has an error level of 67. I always make my contracts rare if possible using either an orb of alchemy or an orb of binding. One main benefit of this build is, as you can see, that it goes very fast and can even go faster by upgrading your gear. This is not a build that allows you to face tank content or to just stand still. Ideally you are always moving, lowering the chances of you getting hit and increasing your chance to successfully complete the contract. Now I've run around 30 contracts by now and only died a single time because I was distracted. Sometimes though, a quick reaction time when it comes to pressing your life flask is making the difference. After finishing the contract, I will sort the items that I picked up in the according stash tab to make it easier for myself to do the chaos recipe. If you don't know what the chaos recipe is, it is a simple and reliant way for you to get two chaos orbs. 
what you need to do is that you need to sell a set of very important unidentified items. These items include two rings, an amulet, a belt, a helmet, boots, gloves, a body armor, two one-handed weapons or one two-handed weapon. As you can see here, if you sell all these items, you will get two chaos orbs. This is a very nice way of getting currency early on that allows you to purchase gear upgrades or maps that you need to progress your atlas. There are certain tools that help with the chaos recipe, but I think they are kind of overkill as my simple way of sorting allows me to quickly see the items that I am missing. If you are not interested in doing the chaos recipe or doing contracts long term, you can of course choose to identify the items and look for upgrades that way. If you really like the concept and the easy way of acquiring currency, there is good news for you. You can run these contracts as long as you want. That is because Wakano will offer you new contracts every time you level up. The problem is that at some point you will run out of contracts and not be able to buy anymore. But there is an easy fix for that too. Simply sell a scroll of wisdom in combination with an orb of scouring and voila, you get a book of regression that allows you to de-level your character by one level. And the crazy part is that for Wakano, this is enough of a reason to offer you new contracts. As long as you have enough chance orbs, wisdom scrolls and orbs of scarring, you can run these contracts as long as you want. I do hope that you learned something new and let me know whether or not you would consider doing the endless high strategy during your league start. If you enjoyed the video, I would very much appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.